This actual branch of Community Harvest has been going for 10 years. It actually started from Community Fruit Harvesting, which is in Auckland. I actually only became involved in Community Fruit Harvest Manawa 2 about three and a half years ago. I harvest five days a week, and then my volunteers, they have their set days that they harvest. Without them, I would not be doing as much as you know I'm doing. Any of the fruit that we pick, it goes to places like Just Zilch, Method Social Services, Salvation Army, so it's the food banks. And then you've got, you've got your kindies that are, are around the community. Cool. You might get about eight boxes. Yeah. But the first time that I had a garden, I was 17 years old and I was a new mum. And it's not easy being a new mum on a benefit. So that's where it started. It was the actual need to have food that got us, got me going. I grew up with my koro. He was a huge gardener, eh? White beta. And that just instilled my passion for kai. And so it's also awesome when you align with people like Debs that are just like me, just on a mission. They say they're gonna do something, they go do it. And they do it wholeheartedly, you know? It's pretty expensive to be a human being, so when you get into things like this, it just helps alleviate the pressure. Yeah, if we can help save Fano 10, 15 bucks a week on fruit, that's, that's cool in my books. My goal for this year, for 22-23, was to actually harvest 10 ton of fruit for the year. Well, we're halfway there already, and we're only three months into the year. The aim is to get people to actually think about what's in their backyard, who they can share it with, and if they can share it all with their immediate neighbourhood and their immediate community, then we're not needed. Being out here picking fruit with Debs has really kind of opened my eyes to how much food that there's actually available. It's just so easy to grow kai. We live in an age of technology at the moment, so there's so much information out there and knowledge and you can learn from not only people in the community, but also online. So I just think that, you know, if everyone got together with their communities and started growing more kai, it, it would be beautiful. So it's always cool to tap in with Debs and, and know that we're picking from the community for the community. I know it's good food, and I know that I'm offering people good food. Like, I don't spray, um, no withholding periods, you know, it's you, you pick it and you eat it. And there's just absolutely nothing like it. I'm very, very spoilt and I'm very, very grateful for what I have. And, and one of the other reasons why I offer it to outside my house is because not everybody goes to food banks. You know, families who have got lives and who are busy trying to survive don't have time to wait in line especially when it's for fruit. And so my house is a lot more convenient. You know, they just pull up, chuck what they need in their car, and then off they go. I think a lot of that as well is like, you know, some people are a bit fucking mad to go to those places as well. You know, they're a bit ashamed to ask for help. So it's cool that you put that outside your house. Initially, when we started, there was a whole lot of shame. Even when I put it outside the front of my house, you know, I'd see people standing out there, pointing, looking at the house, you know, and then they'd knock on the door. You know, can I, can I have some fruit? And I'd go, oh my God, please take it, just take it. And now I don't get any of that, but I do get a lot of presents in the mailbox. 